Hello YouTube, this is another Sony Trinitron television video. This is a model number KV2093R. It is a 20 inch Trinitron television manufactured in July 1987. This is a garage find. It uh, was sitting in a garage for, unfortunately, what looks like a couple years. Um, it does work, but she needs a little bit of love. Um, one thing that I was happy to see, which is very tough to find, is the little door works, and it actually stays closed. On something that is 31 years old, that ain't too shabby. gonna say watch um, now I have just gotten this television I have not uh, I powered it on to make sure that it actually you know had snow um, but I do not know much about it um, or have used it really um, I just kind of grabbed the camera and uh, we're gonna see what uh, what happens I think this will be like a kind of like a overview test video and then I might do a refurbishing video later on as you can see unfortunately it definitely needs some love it's been scuffed up that looks like wall paint um, filthy so the whole back needs to be come come off and basically just hosed down I don't know if we'll be able to see inside actually but in there it is just uh it's disgusting inside here as well um here is a look at our model number serial number and all that and uh over here july of 87. so not too bad stereo speakers on the side here are our inputs which uh, you don't really get much back then now this has uh, something to uh, converter must be what they called old uh, converter boxes for cable uh, and aux and then VHF and UHF for your old antenna and then you have a monitor in and out button I don't know if that's like a switch if that's like maybe for a pass-through to another television maybe something like that I'm not exactly sure um, no manual no um, no remote unfortunately either but uh, I imagine I could probably track one down uh, so let me do this we're gonna turn it on and then uh, we're gonna hook the uh, PlayStation 2 up to it I just got a uh, pretty much mint condition uh, original Tony Hawk instructions and all that shit I'm sure I've got some rust in there that I have picked up some goof off for the paint and some cheap black gloss it's kind of Give the speakers some love. This one's not bad. This girl looks okay. It should be clean. Um, there is this. I'm not exactly sure what that is. We're going to try the goof off on that. Oh, come on. Come back into focus. Where are we going? Come on. Okay. So let me hook all this up and then we'll see what's going on. We got bad news, my friends. I don't know if you can see that, but that bottom corner's got a blue spot. 
God damn it. I did not see that. Fuck. Well, here it is. Hopefully it doesn't flicker too bad for you guys. Disappointment. Anyone, if anyone's got any comments on maybe how to get rid of that uh, little spot. <laughs> So, just just for grins, I went and I grabbed the old uh, remote ski for the uh, Trinitron over here, and I was like, ah, let me just see what happens if I just point this thing at the television. And when would you look at that? It just works without like me doing anything. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can figure out why that video just won't go away. And I hit the display button. Oh, and then, oh, there it goes. Man, it kills me that this thing has the little tiny, I'm keeping it anyway, I don't care. Anybody, please tell me how to get rid of the little blue spot. All right, this video has run long enough, but you know, give it to Sony for uh, a remote for a television that came out 13 years, 14, 13 years after this television was made, works. Right on you, Sony. Now, for a little bonus tidbit. Um, if you made it this far in the video, and you're actually probably one of the subscribers that uh, really cares about the channel, and I appreciate that. Um, I've been gone for like six months seven months something like that uh, and you guys have still been subscribing to the channel um so i at least got to tell you what's going on in january my mom passed away unexpectedly at 56 years old from a heart attack and um it really sucked you know so i I've really had trouble finding fun in a lot of this stuff that, like, I enjoyed a lot, you know. Um, so, you know, I tried replying to comments the best I could, um, but making videos, starting projects and stuff like that, it just, I, I couldn't, I didn't have any motivation. 
Um, as you can see, I kind of I've still been thinking about the channel. Um, with you know with the television, I just got this maybe a week ago, a little less, um, but I finally just got to it. Um, but I have something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Since I, you know, I'm great with house wiring and electric, 120 volts, 240 volts, AC stuff. You know, AC, I'm really, you know, I do, it's what I do for a living. Um, but DC and like charging capacitors and stuff like that, you know, I, I'm not an electrical engineer. I didn't take any electrics cor electronics courses for stuff like this. Um, so I, I you know, I'm, why my channel was originally called let's play with electricity you know I was like hey let's figure it out together so I did a job where a customer wanted a um, battery backup sump pump system removed from his house and the thing was only a few years old and in very good condition I have the uh, marine deep cycle battery right here which is uh, I forget how many it was like I forget what the cold cranking amps are um, but you know it, it, marine batteries are beasts um, and this guy here charges will trickle charge the battery uh, with DC what I want to do is this thing has so many alarms built into it that like it's when I just plug it into the wall it freaks out and it doesn't want to do anything so I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to rig it up to where I can use this thing to charge capacitors for a little bit of fun. Now I've done some preliminary um, kind of experimental fun here. Let's see which one is negative and which one's positive. Okay, upside down. So what we'll do is these are. Uh, 71 volts at 15,000 microfarads, which translates to about, I think it was 33,000 joules of energy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give this about like 12 volts worth of juice here. that guy juice up for just a little oh, slipped off come on now there we go this is a little tease here I'll get you a little juice and then we'll bring it over here Ooh. yeah we put some marks on that didn't we so, there'll be some more. No, it's completely shorted. Okay, good. So yeah, I wanna charge these bitches all the way up to full power with this thing. If it would focus, if it would focus, I think we could have some serious uh, dangerous fun. So, trying to get back into the swing thing, guys. Um, Keep your eyes open for some more videos coming up here sometime soon. Maybe maybe even this weekend. Man, that spot in that corner. Man, it breaks my heart. Alright guys, uh, have a good one. I uh, hope uh, I didn't lose too many subscribers for being gone so long. And I hope you understand why. Take care. We're going to try it together. I haven't done anything yet. I just fucking had an epiphany. I was like, I'm asking these guys what what uh, what what the opinion was, and I already did a video on what it is that you're supposed to do when you have a bullshit spot in the corner like that. You fucking degauss it. And if that don't work, you're screwed. But we're gonna. Turn this off so we go to snow. There's our spot. I don't know what.
which way it was on. Yep, we're on. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It fucking worked. It worked. It worked. I'm the man, dude. If you ever have a television that has a spot on it like that, degaussing coil. Yeah, buddy. Saves the day. That is awesome. All right, guys. I need to change the title of the video. Take care.